own life and one of them another sort of life lesson I'm singing I know you through gritted teeth feeling like I feel like I'm gonna collapse Hello everyone welcome back to my Um, attempting to be on my way to work the traffic on my usual route was so bad that I had to turn around and I'm now on a different route I had to put my sat nav on and it's currently giving me an ETA of 8.37 and I start work at 8.30 and this route is looking pretty busy as well so I don't know what's going on but something is occurring and it's really annoying uh, it's just been one of those mornings I tripped over the cat <laughs> that we don't have because I didn't realise she was in and I didn't realise that she was right under my feet and I turned around and tripped over her. So she was then giving me death stares for the next 20 minutes. Phoebe dropped her cocoa pops all over the table and Dan continues to be really quite unwell. Uh, he's going to take the day off work today and rest and we'll see how it all pans out but it's all a bit worrying uh yeah so not the greatest of starts i'm afraid but let's see how it let's see if it improves i've just arrived it's quarter to nine i'm 15 minutes late and it's been a stressful morning i just wanted to say a couple of things before I go in. First and foremost, so many of you have said, please give Paula a mention for Vlogtober. Paula is stitched by Mrs. D. She is everybody's special favorite and she is doing Vlogtober and I've added her to the list. She's amazing. Please do go and check her out. Um, and the list I refer to is the list of Vlogtobers under, actually, I'm just gonna put it under every video. I'm just gonna put it under every video. Uh, yeah, so it's underneath. And um, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Oh, happy birthday, Jan Sheelan. It's your birthday today, the 5th of October. Happy birthday, if it's your birthday too, as well. Right, I really have got to go in. After my very yummy lunch, I went for a quick walk to help me digest and also to start my annual mushroom spotting. The grounds around where I work are brilliant for mushrooms and there are always plenty of different ones to spot. Although I'm rubbish at identifying them, I just like looking at them. Although I think this is a type of bracket polypore. That's not rain, that's the sound of zillions of acorns falling. Trust me, it hurts when one of these lands on you. There's glorious open space to breathe and I love coming here for a walk at lunchtime. It really helps me to relax and look at that dramatic sky with the lightning struck tree. More mushrooms. And let's go and visit my favorite tree. I always like to go and just check on this. I think it's a black locust tree. I just really, really like it. I 
and this ruined wall just always looks really fairy tale to me. The base of this tree is usually a really good spot for fly agaric mushrooms, the typical red with white spots. None today though, yet. back from work and I've barely filmed anything today so after yesterday's quite long vlog I think today's going to be quite a short vlog so it is about 10 past 7 and I am reheating the corn chowder I made yesterday uh, so that I can have some for my dinner I need to add the little bit of cream um, I bought some nice wholemeal rolls on my way home when I stopped to get a few bits for Dan and I'm going to have this very quickly for my dinner whilst I'm trying to edit the vlog that was supposed to go up about an hour ago <laughs> uh, for day four. So that's what I'm going to do before I go and pick up Phoebe and then I have to clean down the kitchen, do all the washing up from the girls, dinner and my dinner and all of that. And then I will finish the vlog and then hopefully get in my pyjamas and have a glass of wine, which I wouldn't normally do. Uh, at this point in the week, but I'm blimmin' well going to. Dan has been off work today. He has been, he was up half the night again. He's still not feeling well. So I've, uh, yeah, we don't know what to do. We're, we're waiting to see if the meds are gonna kick in. Um, and if not, we might have to go to A&E, um, otherwise known as the emergency room, I believe, uh, in the States, um, to um, sort of, get him looked at by a consultant. He has been referred to his consultant, but that'll take take a little while to get an appointment. Does it, any of what I'm saying make sense? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't vlog and stir soup at the same time. Speaking of soup, there's been a lot of soup talk in the comments. I was reading through the comments from uh, the day that I made the butternut squash soup and everyone was sharing that it's soup season, which I've never really thought of before, but yeah, it's soup season. I've made two soup, two soups. <laughs> That's Judy Waters. Oh, I'll have to see if I can find that clip and put a link to it underneath Judy Waters with her two soups. Um, yeah, I've made two soups in the past two days. Uh, so everyone was sharing what soups they've been making. And somebody asked me about the fire lighters because I said I was making fire lighters out of old tea bags. Yeah, what I do is, it's really simple. I keep the old tea bags because these can't be composted. Um, I think because they've got a plastic content in them. Let them dry out. And then when they dry out, I've got all the little remnants of wax from the end of candles and stuff. And I'll just melt the wax down and dip, dip the tea bags in the wax. They don't have to be completely fully covered, just dip them in messily. And then either pop them on a bit of newspaper or greaseproof paper and let them dry. And that's your fire lighter. It, it works really, really well. Uh, so that's what I do. And I've got a few more Vlogtoberers to mention. So I'm just going to say it again because I've had so many comments that I haven't mentioned her. Lovely Paula, who is stitched by Mrs D, is doing Vlogtober. And she is so good. So please do pop over and have a look. I'll, I'll, I'll write all these down below. Also, Tarnished Treasures, um, her bio says that her content is yard sale halls, cooking, decorating and art. I'm not sure what your name is, Tarnished Treasures, but I watched about 30 seconds of one of your videos and I got completely hooked and quite frankly, what your bio says was enough to get me hooked anyway, so I shall look forward to finding a bit of time tomorrow to watch that, maybe tonight. And also somebody mentioned that Davina over at Little Workroom Crafts is also doing Vlogtober. Uh, oh, and I saw one just as I started heating up my soup. Hotchy Witchy left me a message to say that they're painting at the moment for Inktober and they're posting short videos to YouTube of their painting process. 
So I haven't been able to have a look at that one, but I saw that comment just as I was about to start filming. So there you go, there's some more. I'll list them all underneath so you can go and find them. And I'm going to go and finish this soup, eat it and get editing. It's very dark, isn't it? I'm in the car park about to go and watch the final half hour of Phoebe's trampolining and pick her up. Dan usually does this because I, uh, I'm not normally, uh, I will not normally have been home very long on a Wednesday and that is true of today as well. And obviously I've got the editing to do as well, but because he's, he can't really leave the house for long periods um, at the moment, I am going, I get the chance to do it, which is lovely because that means I go and get to see how she's doing. I did it yesterday as well, but it does mean I'll get home and I'll be up quite late editing and cleaning the kitchen and doing all the washing up from dinner and so on. So boo, but I'll sit down eventually and I will feel like I've had a lovely productive day. <laughs> so right, let's go in. I probably, I won't be able to film anything in there because obviously, um, lots of kids and stuff, but, uh, I'm just rambling. Be quiet, be quiet. I have Phoebe. I'm so tired. Phoebe's so tired. I just said to her, would you like a bit of apple crumble when you get back? And she said, no, thank you. And I thought she wasn't feeling well. <laughs> and she said, what is it weird that I don't want apple crumble? Very weird. Did you have fun at trampolining? Yes. Should we get home and get Let's you in do. the shower and then have like a nice hot drink or something? Yeah. I was doing straight back somersaults. You were, they looked very good. Mm. I've just come home and look. All the washing up has been done. By Lilia. Thank you, Lilia. You're welcome. You're a big help. Yes. I was really worried that I was going to be up really late doing that. Yeah, and you know what else I did? You finished your coursework. I finished my coursework. And you, you made me a drink. Oh, yeah, and I made you a drink. You made me a squash. wobbling the camera aren't I because I've got it set up on the bed I've just been putting on my aloe vera gel and getting my pajamas on so I can go and chill out for a little bit with a glass of wine in front of the telly so this is to go on my tattoo I mentioned earlier in vlogtober that I've had um, the first session of getting my tattoo that I got when I was 19 years old laser removed not that I didn't love my tattoo, I did, it's just with age it's gone blurry and it's just not very nice anymore. So keeping it healing with my aloe vera gel. I have chosen the book that I'm going to start uh, reading. Whether I'll have any energy to start it tonight, I have no idea. But it's a book that my mum passed on to me because she recently finished uh, finished it and thought I would enjoy it. And it is a book by Yoko Ogawa and it is The Memory Police. So, and it's quite, I chose this one partly because my mum said it was a really unusual type of story. And when she described it to me, it reminded me a little bit of The Giver um, by, can't remember, name on the screen, <laughs> uh, which is the first in a trilogy of books. And I really enjoyed that. I don't think it's exactly the same, but it sounded you know of a similar ilk and also it's under 300 pages and having just finished 600 pages of a book I fancied something a little bit shorter 
<laughs> so this is what I'm going to be starting. But right now I'm going to go downstairs and chill out with my family for a little bit and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you.